this lesson, I'll show you how to do the fifth basic skill lesson in a Tinkercad. Uh, this one is, if I scroll down a little bit, is found just below the top first four lessons. This is to create a key ring with letters. And so I'm going to click on the picture to start the lesson. This is a very simple tutorial to show you the uh, letters that are in Tinkercad program and how to make a very, very simple basic keychain in this program. I'm going to click on the next because it says in this project you'll learn how to make a key ring using letters. So this is design one for your friends or yourself and you go to the instructions down below. Start by dragging the letters to the red base. Now over here it says the letter Katie uh, and so you do the K-A-T-I-E. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, honestly if you're doing this on your own have fun and put your own name on top of Katie. Nobody would know uh, other than tank, uh, just yourself. Uh, but I'm going to follow the letters that are in here. So I'm going to go to my alphabet and find the first letter and drag uh, the K uh, right into that spot. And you don't have to really be perfect in this tutorial. I'm trying to do the best uh, I can. And it says to make positioning the letters a little easier, change the snap grid setting from 1.0 to 0.25. That's one of the things that maybe uh, you might have noticed by now is when you drag things around. Let's pretend that I did the uh, do the next letter, the A. Uh, if I drag real slow, you can see how it jumps, bump, 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 bump. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't go exactly where you want it to go. On the bottom right corner, there's a button here that says uh, Snap Grid, and it's set by default to one millimeter, so it jumps by one millimeter. But if I go up here, there's lots of other options. You can turn it completely off or five millimeters. Five millimeters, if I jump real, real slow, it's much bigger jumps. You can see the bigger jumps. Uh, but if I put it at 0 0.25, if I go real slow, it's a lot more smoother jump. So you, it is moving in 0.25s, but it's hard to see. Uh, if you turn it off, it, there's no, you can put it physically anywhere. And so that's just a nice little feature right here. So sometimes uh, I change that, turn it on, off, for a smaller uh, snap grid setting. So it makes it easier to position letters. There's a K, A, T. Now if I want to use the little skill I learned in lesson three, I can hold the Alt button down when I drag the T over. That way the original T stays up top, but I'm just dragging one down into the uh, lesson. Uh, so that's just a little fun, little practice. So I can reuse a letter. So maybe your name has multiple letters uh, that are used more than once. Um, I could also take the letter that I just did and, and, and copy that one as well. And uh, so I'm going to drag the E. So now I have Katie. Uh, so I drag the letters as best I could uh, into this system here. Uh, continue on to the next step. This is great. Now adjust the size of the red base to fit your name. So I'm going to scroll down to the instructions. It says it's easy to resize the base using the black dot on the right of the model. So if I click on the red part right here, uh, you'll notice the black dot. Uh, the black squares right here will resize one size at a time. If I move my mouse up and down, it doesn't affect uh, how uh, the, it, it gets resized. Uh, if I grab one of the white squares, uh, I can still resize it up and down, but if I move my cursor up and down, it resizes everything. So sometimes it's useful to only resize one part, not everything. Now if I really uh, made a mess of things, there is an undo button up here. Uh, you can do keyboard shortcut of control plus the letter Z, or click this arrow button and undo. And so I'm going to grab this black dot and I'm going to drag it in as close to the orange line that they recommend. And I'll let go. You can, of course, resize it to whatever your name is, even expand it out if you're in a very long lane. And I'm going to click next to go on to the next step. It says we'll do a little cleanup work by removing any of the leftover letters. Because if I were to sit here and, and download this file to print, it'll download every letter here plus this. And that might not be what I want. So it says you can click and drag your mouse across the letters to select them. And I showed you this a little bit in a previous lesson. I'm going to grab my mouse and I'm going to draw what I call 
an invisible box to select all the letters at the same time. I could hold the shift button and individually click on every single letter. That's one way of doing that. In order to delete, it says then press the delete key on your keyboard to remove all the letters. So the delete key on the keyboard is, uh, I'm just going to press that button right now. And it deletes all those letters. I'm going to click next. This is now group the leftover shapes into a single object. So it says select the remaining shapes and group them together by clicking on the group button. So again, I'm going to draw that box to select all the shapes. And then I'm going to click on the group button up top. And now it is grouped together. If I click next, I get stars. So I'm finished. And just like all the other lessons, I'll show you a couple little quick little tips. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to ungroup it real quick. And you may have noticed that maybe my letters aren't perfectly lined up to one another. So what I can do is I'm going to hold the shift button in and click on each of the letters. Just the letters. I didn't want to select everything. I only wanted those uh, five letters. There is a button up top here next to the group button. It's called Align. If I click on the line, it brings up these little dots. If I click the center dot, it'll center all the letters on top one another. That's kind of silly. So I'm going to press Undo. I don't want that. The letters are still selected. So I'm going to click the Align one more time. But if I click on this center button right here, it lines them up perfectly uh, in here, which is really, really useful. And then I could also... Uh, select everything and click align and if I uh, move my point of view a little bit uh, I can center the name onto the, the keychain so sometimes that's a very useful thing then I can group it all together and now I have my, I'm much happier with the way the letters are perfectly centered on the machine uh, or the keychain so that's, how, that's lesson five. We're almost done with our basic lessons. Uh, it's a simple, basic keychain that you can make for all of your friends.